Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at the Swagman XC2 two bike platform hitch mounted bike rack on a 2022 Hyundai Palisade. When people ask me what bike racks are the best option, I always tend to lead with a platform style. The platform style is, as the name implies, gives you a platform on the bottom and has points of securing, whether it be a frame or a tire mount. This one, as you can see, is a frame mount. Why the platform? Well, the platform keeps your bike stable while driving. I've had hanging racks, I've had a roof rack mounted bike rack, and I've had a platform. And this is the only style that keeps me not looking in my rear view mirror and wondering if my bike is gonna fall off. This one in particular is a great value for what you're getting. Most platform styles kind of start at a higher premium than some other bike racks. But this doesn't exactly have a bunch of frills, but those no frills are kind of passed on to you as the consumer. The way this works is very minimalist. In fact, it only really has one real point of securing and, and contact on the bike itself, and that's this rubber coated frame mount. And it ratchets in place, keeping the bike nice and stable, as you can see. Now, it's able to do that with using this hoop style for your tire to sit in. And this can accommodate up to a three inch wide tire. So that's gonna cover a lot of different bike sizes, whether you have a road bike or a mountain bike. You can also adjust it to accommodate for different wheel sizes or wheel bases. So if you're taking your kids for a ride, you can put both their bikes on here. Or if you have a large mountain bike that's slacked out, you can still accommodate that. So choosing a bike rack for your specific vehicle is a big choice. And that's why I'm here to help you maybe make that decision. This is gonna work great for a road bike like this. But as you can see, there's eh, a little bit of space and I don't ever think this would make contact even with hard braking. The same goes for the pedals, but these are clip-in style pedals that aren't very large and the handlebar spread on this is 24 inches. My own personal bike has 31 inch handlebars. And so kind of doing quick measurements to right here, it's gonna, maybe make contact with the glass. So I could store it on the outside, but if you're carrying two wide handlebar mountain bikes and maybe you have some platform style pedals, it might get pretty close and I don't want damage to happen to your vehicle. So definitely something to think about. Now the frame mount gives a nice secure feel and it is rubber coated, like I said before, so it shouldn't cause any damage to your frame or the paint surface on it. Now, this is not to be used with a carbon fiber frame bike because that does put pressure and it can cause warpage or even braking. Also, this shouldn't really be used with a full suspension. Ideally, it can be done, but that's gonna compress the suspension and cause it to kind of prematurely wear out those shocks. So while this may not work with a full suspension or a carbon frame or a fat tire bike, this is gonna cover a widespread of just about everything else in that category, including odd shaped frames. These will adjust down to meet that frame and still give you solid contact. So don't let it scare you off unless you are one of those bike owners. Now to remove the bike is very simple in itself as well. You do have two ratcheting style pin releases or button releases, I should say. So to remove it, simple, slide this up and then you'll come down here and do the same process. Now when strapping it down, it's really nice as well because to know that it's clicked into place, you can audibly hear it ratcheting and then you can kind of give it a quick shove and you know it's in place. So really easy to get the bike on and off, which makes for more time riding and less time messing with your bike. So let's get this bike off of here and take a closer look. While platform style is my preferred bike rack method, something else I generally look for is a tilt style. And that really does come at a more premium price to get a platform tilting. And what that is beneficial for is if I need access to my hatch, I can still access it, but I do have to take my bikes off. So in order to do that, it's very simple still. This pin down here, you can pull that off. It is attached to a cable too, so if you have fumbled fingers and you drop it, it's still gonna stay in place. You're not gonna lose it. This does tilt down, and then you can get to your hatch 
you know, problem. Platform styles generally come with a bulky frame exterior of it and sometimes can be hard to store. That's where this one really shines. So if I fold the mask back up, we'll put our pin, you're gonna see there's also two pins on the outside here. So that means we can fold this up and it goes to a very compact footprint. So not only does this stay close against your vehicle and not sprawled out, but also if you're not using it, it's super easy to store wherever you may have it in your garage, a small apartment, and it's lightweight. So that's something else to think about. To be able to carry two bikes on a platform and still store the bike rack is a really good bonus. With it in its compact folded up shape, we're gonna go from the furthest point, the rear fascia, to the furthest point on the rack, and it's right at about six inches. So plenty of clearance, not gonna make contact with the vehicle. Something else that's really nice is the raised shank on this. So whereas other bike racks sit maybe parallel with the hitch and you lose ground clearance, this actually goes up. So from the ground to the top of it is 14 inches. And that's gonna be important for when you're hitting those off-road trails and you're hitting some ruts, you don't wanna make contact. Also important if you have a steep driveway or you go to places with inclines, as the vehicle goes up, this is gonna go down. So that raise is hopefully gonna save your bikes and rack from getting damaged. So this is a two inch receiver and this does have a spacer here to allow for two inch. And if you take this off with the tournament Allen key inside of it, you can actually go down to an inch and a quarter. So if you have a small commuter vehicle with a class one hitch, you can use this all the same or you can keep it at your two inch and transfer it to other vehicles with a two inch. Also included is this anti-rattle hitch pin, and that's gonna be really nice. As you tighten it down, it makes sure that there's secure contact between the shank of the rack and the receiver tube itself. With that anti-rattle hitch pin device tightened down, you're gonna see there's no slop in the receiver tube. The bike rack itself kind of sways back and forth, but the rack in the receiver tube is moving with the vehicle. So that's really nice. It's gonna take some of that rattle and also take some bouncing away from the rack itself when your bikes are attached. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side to side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. Final thoughts on the Swagman XC2. This is an awesome bang for buck product. Again, not a ton of frills, but it does give you secure hold on your bikes. But do make sure that you do make measurements of your particular bike to make sure it's gonna work on your Palisade. And that was a look at the Swagman XC2 two bike platform bike rack on a 2022 Hyundai Palisade. Thanks for watching.